y'all, this is Megan German Shepherds here, and welcome to Music Theory Time! And today I'm doing 11ths and 13ths. 11th chords have six notes in it, and then with the 13ths, it just adds a num another note. And with a 11th note, this is how the chord looks like when it's all stacked together, and it makes it a lot easier to play than just all this. And then with 13th chord, it's more polytonal than an actual chord. Okay, so the 11th chord can be in any kind of inversion, and most of the time it will need the 7th note and the 9th note and the 3rd note, just to keep like a more, no, actually a 5th note to keep it more stable. With a 13th chord, you would mostly just need the 1st, 3rd, 5th, 13th, and the 7th flatted note. Which adds a simple, nice spice to the, sp the pie, but putting way too much flavor in it can cause like a collision course, like, like an explosion. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and like, comment, subscribe, and share by or this video.